Weather's getting a lot more cooler now. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Literally the best, best time. Best time for, you know, everything. Cuddle, you know, lovey-dovey movies. We all have to have those, right? Who doesn't live for a Hallmark movie? For a nice kissy number, you know? I just love fall and I love everything about it. So it just is a chill day. I just was doing some stuff around the house. I had class. Literally in class right now, I had a minute to make this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get something cute to wear for a wonderful fall. Look at this little dress my daughter had. Is this not the cutest little dress? When she put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, she's like a pilgrim, but it's so cute. It's so cute, is it not? I don't know. <laughs> so basically, I have some items I had. I'm very much into thrift. I do love, don't get me wrong, I do love a name brand number, right? But 
something about fall it's just like fuck it like who doesn't love i don't know i mean of course you can hey do what you gotta do right but i got this cute little vest from goodwill it's from city soap no idea no idea what company that is but i love it because it's a sweater well it's a vest and i got this cute little wrap around go as well for demanding this is really cute it's like a little wrap around i did find some other cute stuff too like let me show you really quick because i thought this was so cute i don't know hanger already you know whatever but tell me this isn't cute it's from donna rico yes it's on a ross lauren hanger don't cry for me but is this not a cute number is it not cute and then the one button i can't wear it now because it's it, the fabric is literally i would freeze um i got another <laughs> cute little vest this is from liz claiborne okay and it's very cute i live for a term with and i found this cute shirt too i was obsessed i had to get it i wore this before if you watched some of my videos but uh, SK and Company, of course, right? And it still has the shoulder pads. This brings back so many memories of my childhood. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear just the all black member with the palm, with the, with the wrap around. Um, I'm wearing right her back. All right, let's see how she looks. And yes, I, I do rock all black very, very um commonly. No, not because of my figure. I know they say black makes you look slummy. I'm a dark bitch, apparently. I, I like neutrals. As you can see, my robe is dark green. If you see my living room, it's a lot of greens. Yeah. I like dark. <laughs> I, it's, I like boho chic sometimes, but I'm very flip floppy. I, I, per, I lean more towards the dark neutrals. Anyways, so this is the, 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 the vest, and I do love. You okay? So I'm gonna wear my, if you know me, you know I love my sweets and my, my musks, right? So I am thinking to, hmm, cause this is a very, it's a sweet design. I do love me a wheat, oh, here we go. Ah, no. You could have went in the bathroom and it Don't do that. So I'm going to do my Deeply Blossom because I'm a mixing type of bitch. And my Vanilla Press Lisa. So let me go ahead and get my food. So my class is over at 5.30. I'm actually gonna leave because she's hungry. Um, it's fall and, did you guys see my, my ambiance? See my ambiance, is it doing it for you? I hope so. I actually do this a lot. Uh, so no, it's not just cause of the video, but I think it's cute. It's autumn, it's fall. <laughs> but I do this a lot. It gets me in the mood, especially when I'm studying or doing some work. I, I do that a lot. We're gonna go and get her a hot chocolate. I'm thinking about making, I wanted to make etouffee today, but I want something warm and like heavy. Especially with like after the VSG surgery, I, I can't eat a lot. So I'm thinking about making salmon Alfredo. And if you know me, <laughs> you know he loves an Alfredo in this household. So I'm gonna go get some cute little pasta. Um, I was actually on Yelp too, trying to find some, cause I'm, I, I would love to find a coffee shop in this area that actually has like a sit down location. That's like the only thing that bothers me. A kid friendly coffee shop where I can sit down and enjoy a coffee and maybe read a book and give her her tablet and we can go. Mommy. Yes. Alright you guys, so I'm about to go get, um, we gotta start with the store first, that way I could just drive and get the chocolate and, uh, her burger and french fries, and just head home.
instead of us doing that and she wants to eat anyways i'm gonna just do that little quick really i was in my closet and i'm like i swear i had some boots where'd it go like what i was looking at them, like i know i had boots i had boots where are they it's crazy how like when you don't need the stuff you literally just for forget about it and then when you need it you like you know you have them I, I did have them so now i have to order some uggs why uggs because they're cute hello who are you uggs are cute don't do that we don't do that over here anyways so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and stop by the grocery store and bring you guys with me let's go So I just got the pasta and the sauce for the salmon alfredo. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get her. Well, me, <laughs> cause it's really cold and warm. It's like cool. I love this. I love fall, baby. Yeah. I love fall. The best time, best season. I'm telling you, this is, if you don't have a boo, baby, listen, do what I do. You don't need a boo, right? You might be like, girl, don't you still? No, no, I don't. Who, who is that? No, I don't. No, I don't. We can have buddies, but like a boo. Where's your? I mean, do you have one? Good for you. But for people like me, who actually want to be single, is that bad that I want to be single? I feel like a lot of people don't. They underestimate what it really means to be single and happy. A lot of people just assume when you're single, you're just miserable because you just constantly want somebody with you. And that's not true. People are social creatures, duh. But I think a lot of people think the other way around when people say that they're happy being lonely. They don't mean lonely as in like miserable. They love the fact that they can get up and go. Like, I, okay, yes, I get to have a kid. Ooh. But I mean, she, she still gets up and goes. So... She's homeschooled as well, so I mean, literally, she can go where mommy goes. Um, she's educated. I, I mean, she, we, I want to break that cycle of living somewhere, being unhappy, and feeling like you have to stay there just because society wants things to look a certain way. F that. You don't have to live that way. And I will be the one to tell you that. Nothing is wrong with being lonely. <laughs> I feel like the connotation with lonely is probably why people think it's something bad. Nothing is wrong with being single and wanting to enjoy your space. I met married couples that don't even live together. Yeah. Married couples who do not share a domicile together because they enjoy their space and they enjoy that their spouse is company, but they want their space. Some people are completely okay with that. That's why I said it's you having buddies and having a boo is like mm, two different times. My buddy is my boo, but at the same time, I don't. I enjoy not being around them sometimes. And you'll be like, "Well, that's not love. That's fine." But I've been in love before, and I, I was the same exact way. So, what do you gotta tell me then? They're like, oh, love means you gotta always. No, it doesn't. Who told you that? Who, who does that? That's not true. No, don't, don't, no, don't listen to them. That's not true at all. Love is different for everybody, and I don't care what nobody says. All right. People are worried out here. People, people process things differently. People are into their own shit. Don't, don't listen to them. They're lying to you. I'm telling you, they're lying. Not everybody loves the same. Everybody's love language is different. No, listen to me when I say that. Listen to me, okay? Anyways, I'm going to get my hot chocolate right now. And yes, this weather, this season is perfect, and it's amazing for people who love 
that warm feeling. Yes, having a boo is great, but have you had hot chocolate and stood out the window with a Hallmark movie playing in the background? Baby, pure silence. No like background. No, 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 no extra voices peering in, peering in. Suck what your ear. No. Nice warm hot chocolate. Nice cup of camel tea. And you got like a cute little rom com going on in the back. My favorite is Will Forever and will be Splash. If you do not want to know what Splash is, I will show a little picture somewhere. My childhood favorite movie about a mermaid. Listen, I wish it was black. I don't care. She inspired me to want to be a mermaid when I was little. And that fantasy is still there. Splash. 50 first days, another one, great one. We'll always, I love Drew Barrymore, not because of Adam Sandler. Um, I'll be back. Let me check really quick. My little sis tried to call me just now. Let me check really quick. I have this app on my phone. Can you see it? This thing right here. It's supposed to be like the secret menus for Starbucks. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to see what they got for hot drinks. Okay, I mean, never heard of them, but I'm about to, like, this one's called the Chocolate Pumpkin. Why not, right? Warm Sugar Cookie. All these look, they sound kind of cute. Butterscotch Latte, Hipster Chai, Liquid Cocaine Express, no ma'am. That's going straight to toilet. Pumpkin Patch Latte. Let me actually warm sugar cookie so like on the thing you just click it oh don't judge my nails and it tells you what to do so like when y'all pull up and be like can i have the secret menu like they don't know what the fuck you're talking about get this out i don't know how i found it it's in the app store go crazy say gypsy sent you <laughs> okay can i have one random cake pop it doesn't matter um a grande actually no, yeah, a grande white hot chocolate. Right. Can you? Can hot. Right? hot. Um, two pumps of hazelnut and then two pumps of vanilla. And then. Oh no! Hold on! Oh, oh my god! I suck at this. And I would like to add three pumps of white mocha sauce to that one. And then add caramel drizzle. Do you guys have caramel? I know you was out yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Yes. Okay. Oh, well, sorry. I forgot to ask because y'all were out yesterday. Anything else? That's it, Liv. All right. You can go Thank you. I've been using my Apple Pay or whatever it is, the wireless paying because I have it on my Android too. I don't know why I just say Apple Pay like it's only Apple. Baby, I've gotten so addicted. I do not use my cards anymore. Like I wish. <laughs> The only thing is some places don't use it and that kind of irks me so I start to carry my cards. But baby, if everybody would just do that, that would help out a lot because it would cut down on people stealing people's card information. It would cut down on these skimmer people, you know, unless they real good smart and they start hijacking Apple Pays, but I doubt that because you actually see the transaction and approve it. Um, they, I'm loving that. I'm loving that people need to jump on board because I hate carrying my car, especially with me. I have so many different bank accounts, my business accounts and stuff like that. Girl, I don't wanna carry all these cards. And I literally, I need, look, this is my, you know how long I had this Louis Vuitton thing? I literally have so many cards in here. So many, I forget I have them. I have to go through them and like use them. Cause you know with business accounts and stuff, you have to use your credit to build it. Like if you don't, it's just like credit card. If you don't use it, it's not gonna help you. You can't just have it and not do anything with it. So yeah. All right, I will bring you guys out when I get my, my drinks. Are you warm back there? Ah! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Apple pen. I'm trying to be fast. My fans, come on. <laughs> That's so strange. It needs to just go straight through, child. I'm gonna bite you. No. <laughs> Sit back, please. Yeah. 
perfect. That's fun. <laughs> what do you watch out? No, you're fine. Thank you. Here, chicken. Here, chicken. The lights was too close. That's what happens. So when they pull up too close behind you, and all you see is lights, you get catfish on. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah.